So hi guys, in this video I'll be telling you how to install Superior OS based on Android 13. So the prerequisites are you need to have an unlocked bootloader, you need to stay on MIUI, you need to remove your password and security, and then you need to remove your MI account and you'll have to remove your Google accounts. Once all of them are done, you need to have these two files in your internal storage which is the rom zip and the firmware part and you need to have dwrpp installed so once you have all of them done we can reboot into recovery by powering off the phone press power button and volume up button so once your recovery is booted we can head into wipe advanced wipe and then clear the double card cache once that is done we can go to install and then we'll uh, install the firmware first, uh, uncheck automatically reflash WRP. So once that is done, we can go to home, install and then we can install the ROM. Uh, you need to check automatically reflash WRP. So then try to install. So once the flashing is done, we can check if the, we can ignore the fail to mount errors and the recovery is also flashed. So we can head into reboot and then click on recovery. So once your recovery is booted, we can head into wipe format data and then type in yes if your format data is successful you can reboot the system so here we go the rom is booted let's get started so here we go the rom is booted so let's head into the camera app we have the miui stock camera We have HDR in photo, we have portrait, night mode and 48 MP and the Alicia cam is getting downloaded. We have watermark and under video we have 4K 30fps but not 60. We also have Dolby Atmos pre-installed so you can change the Dolby Atmos to music, movies or custom and we also have game space. The uh, game space has many features like block, full event, stay awake, lock gesture, disable heads up notifications and disable USB debugging. I can add games. And we have the superior walls. This is the wallpapers for superior OS. So no stutter. And this is GApps version and you have absolutely no stutter in this also and the UI looks cool let's head into settings the android version is 13 and the kernel version they are using is no kernel july 37th update Now let's head into superior lab. Under status bar we have network traffic indicator and status bar items we can add all these or remove all these. We can remove do not disturb, we can remove mute. As you can see there's an effect in the top. Under battery styles we have circle, portrait, dotted, text, but portrait is best. The battery battery percentage is inside the icon or we can let us just stay hidden bluetooth battery status it displays the battery status for a connected bluetooth device if available we have display 4g icon instead of lte under quick settings we have vibrate on touch data usage quick qs pull down battery slider etc in navigation bar we have two button button or gesture navigation under gestures we have this uh, lift on check phone and show ambient display prevent ringing it will vibrate instead of ringing lock screen double tap anywhere on the lock screen to put the device to sleep and status bar we can double tap on the status bar to put the device to sleep 
under power menu we have enable advanced restart which will which will give you system recovery bootloader and system ui disable power menu on lock screen the this will disable power menu on the secure lock screens under themes we have monet engine Let, let's turn it on under we can change the fonts let's keep the font to this yeah we can change the icon pack i don't think it had effect i mean yes it had effect let's change the we, we can change them separately you can also change the icon shape so the icon shapes are changed under notifications we have annoying notifications display sound vibration for notifications when the screen is on make heads up less annoying shows heads up only for uh, dial up or messenger app under miscellaneous we have ripple effect or ignore window secure flags and that's it Now let me add the Geekbench 6 and CPU throttle to this game space. Let me close all applications and open Geekbench 6 and then test. So we have a single core of 1238 and a multi core of 3400. So let's go ahead and do the CPU throttling test. So we've run the test for almost one minute and we have a stable of 90% which is pretty good. If this video helped you on how to install Superior OS, please like, share and subscribe. Bye.